In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a PDF in some of the most popular online whiteboards. The ability to insert a PDF is very important for online teaching because you can prepare some material and quickly deliver in an online session. And PDF file format is one of the best file formats, which is very portable and system independent. I have listed these five digital online whiteboards, which I'm going to discuss because these are the most popular choices for most of us. Although some are very poor in handling PDF files or they have a very counterintuitive user interface, which you will see in a minute. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools for teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally every Tuesday and Friday. I have listed these whiteboards on this slide in a specific order and this is not the order of popularity. This is the order in which I think these whiteboards handle PDF files, starting from the worst to the best. So let us see what are the issues with Classflow and Jamboard. I have logged into my Classflow account as a teacher and there are four tabs you can see here, Home, Classes, Resources and Marketplace. But there are also few icons and one of those is Instant Whiteboard. So one way to start a whiteboard is by clicking on Instant Whiteboard and there is another way to start a whiteboard from within your class. So the first one I click on here and a whiteboard is started and if you click on this pair of screens, you will see that there is a section and in this section we have one whiteboard page and you can add another whiteboard page by clicking on this plus sign and the second will be added. Then you can put your material on this whiteboard, whatever you want to draw or you want to write or you want to draw any shape. But we are only talking about how to insert a PDF and this is the PDF which I want to insert in my class flow whiteboard. So let me open this PDF first. It is a four page PDF in which I have written some math equations and I don't want to rewrite this and I will be putting this PDF in all of these five online whiteboard applications to show you the difference and a comparison of these whiteboard applications. And now coming back to class flow to insert something I have to click on this and then there are three different choices open, insert and exit. And honestly, I still don't know what is the purpose of this insert. If I click on insert, it tries to select something from my very old resources. As you can see that these are some of the files which I have used years ago. And this insert is still stuck at these files. Although I have worked on class flow, on tens of other files, but for some reason, these files are still stuck here. And if I click on resources, it does nothing. I have a lot of resources in my resources section, but it does not select any of these. It doesn't allow me to select or choose any of those. And I have no option to select any PDF or any type of file. No, we are not concerned about exit, but the second option for us to insert something is open. And when I click on open, it allows me to open something from my resources. This is the only place I can open something. I cannot open anything from my computer. So what it means is that if I want to insert a PDF here, first I have to create a resource. Also, if you see here, there are some other issues with class flow. There is no home tab from where I can click and go back. The only way I can go back is by clicking on the back arrow and there is no way to delete any of these pages. For example, if I let's say create a few of these pages, now there are five pages. I can create hundreds of pages, but I cannot delete any page here. There is no delete button. So this is very counterintuitive. So if I want to insert any PDF here, First, I have to create a resource. Now, how to create a resource? Let's go back 
and now I click on this resources and in this resources tab I have this option new and in this area I have this file upload option so I click on that I select this PDF and I click open and now I have to convert this file into a lesson which will be one of my resource and the way all these online board work is that if you insert any PDF they insert it as an image and Classflow is also trying to do the same but now it says that it will be a lesson and that lesson will be a resource and that resource I will be able to open in the whiteboard. So this is the way you will be able to insert a PDF. So I click continue and now you will notice that this is the PDF and this is a lesson which has been created by Classflow and now this lesson will be available in my resources area. I can click on this and I can edit this here. I can give it a name for example inserted math equations and it will be saved as you can see that it is saved now. Now I can go back. I can go back one more step. I can start an instant whiteboard. Click on open and this is my inserted math equations. I click on that and I click open and now my PDF will be inside this whiteboard and if I click on these two you will see that these are the four pages which have been created and I can scroll any of these four pages and I can see my PDF file. Now I can zoom it as well and this is the zoom. Let's let us zoom this and now I can also move this like this and you should also note the sharpness and the quality of this PDF. It is reasonably good but not the best and you will see in a minute which whiteboard gives us the best sharpness when we insert a PDF. So this was our first online whiteboard.